Today on Mike's Baseball Card Review, we go back to Attic Treasures and look and see if we can find a big hit from my cousin's baseball card collection. Let's take a look. Okay, so this box here is stuffed with old cards. I don't know if you could see there, but we got a big pile of cards. They're kind of all thrown in here. Uh, not expecting much, but you never know. Maybe we can find something good in here. So let me dig in and see what I can find. Okay, everybody, so I just went through that entire box of cards and I uh, had a lot of fun going through all those. As you can see, here's the stacks of cards that I went through. And I came up with a smaller stack of the cards that I liked the most. Um, some of these um, might have some value. Um, put one card in a top loader. We'll save that one for the end. Um, but some of these I just like for different reasons. So let's start it off. Okay, we've got a 1989 Topps Bob Walk. I pulled this one because, first of all, Bob Walk, that's got to be the best name for a pitcher of all time. And look at that. Uh, does he not look like a pirate? Looks like a perfect player to play for the Pirates. So Bob Walk. Awesome name, love it. We got a upper deck Barry Bonds. Uh, despite what you might think of him as a person and steroids and all, Barry Bonds, one of the best players of all time. I don't think you could really argue that. So not a rookie card or anything, but still nice and good condition. This card I thought was pretty cool. This is a Chipper Jones. It looks like a unique, um, and, and maybe not an insert, but it's a Peter Gammons Inside the Numbers. Of course, Peter Gammons is the popular Major League Baseball commentator. He's been in, at ESPN for decades, um, so I just thought that was a pretty cool looking card. Um, again, maybe not much value to it, but I just really like that. That's cool. Look at that, man. A young chipper. Uh, recently found out chipper lives near me, where I live, which is an added bonus. Uh, so always a big fan of chipper. And then, of course, King Griffey Jr. I mean, come on. Look at that swing. It's perfect. King Griffey Jr. Loving it. Any kind of King Griffey Jr. I'm going to love. We've got Dave Justice. He was a important piece of the Braves team for several years as they won their World Series and had several years where they won their division. It's an all-star rookie cup card, so that's pretty cool. We've got another rookie card here. This is a Tino Martinez, score 1990. So Tino Martinez was a good hitter. We've got a Cal Ripken Jr., 1989. Always good to get a Cal Ripken Jr. card. We've got this Tony Gwynn, All-Star National League. I like that picture, that card there. Tony Gwynn, one of the best hitters of all time. No question about it. Bill Buckner. Most famously known for the ball that got through his legs, but look at this Donruss 1981 card. What is going on? What kind of style is that? Is he, he got like hair on his neck there? What, what's going on? Neck hair just down the middle? I mean, that guy. Look at that. What is going on there, Bill? Wow. A cubby there at the time. I just, my, man, Bill Buckner. What do you. So he got some old cards in this box. Look at this, 1977, uh, Rico Petroselli. Petroselli. Um, don't really know much about him. I looked him up. Look, sounds like he was a Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame, so he must have been a pretty decent player. 1977, old card in pretty good condition. I found that to be the case on some of these other older cards here at the back. Johnny Oates. This is another old card. This is what, 1979? 1979, that's an old card in pretty good condition. Johnny Oates, don't really know much about him, but I thought I'd pull this. Some of these older cards give you a little look and see what he has in here. Look at this card right here. This one looks pretty sweet. We've got a Dutch Leonard and a Walter Johnson. Walter Johnson, one of the best pitchers of all time. Really old card here. I guess this is a 1979 Tops as well, I believe. Should say there. Yep, 1979 Tops, earned run average leader. So that's a cool card, is it not? Look at that. Really old school. 
Okay, what about this one right here? Dick Pohl? Everybody knows Dick Pohl, right? We'll just leave that right there. I think that explains itself. That's 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 a pretty sweet card. This is the oldest card. Oldest card. I uh, hope you didn't see that last one there. Uh, this is the oldest card um, he had in his pile there. 1964. Jose Pagan, but 1964. You couldn't really even see it on the back, but I looked it up. I believe this card is a 1964, guys. How about that? In pretty decent condition, you know, a little bit on the edges, rough around the edges, but that is cool. I don't see really super old cards like this. So I was really hyped to see that. That's pretty cool. Last but not least, um, I found a pretty sweet card. A rookie card of one of the best pitchers. Um, one of the scariest pitchers of all time. We got a Randy Johnson rookie card in his Expos uniform. Look at that, Randy Johnson. That's a pretty sweet card right there. 1989 tops. Randy was signed in the second round by the Expos in 1985. But it looks like he made his Major League debut in 1988. Randy Johnson, the big unit. The tall lefty scares everyone at the plate. His high heat, he could bring it. So Randy Johnson rookie card in good condition. Look at that. Card's in good condition. So that's pretty awesome, David. I'm liking the Randy Johnson rookie card. So that is what I'm calling the hit of that box. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I look forward to talking to you again soon. More Attic Treasures on the way. Take care, everybody. Bye.